Imagine walking into your garden and noticing something unusual. The beans are towering, the tomatoes, twice as thick, and the squash leaves, so broad they're shading everything else. You check your watering schedule, unchanged. Your compost pile, still turning as usual. So, what's different? Here's the truth. Beneath the surface, something powerful has taken root. It's invisible to the naked eye, but the results are impossible to ignore. A few weeks ago, I introduced one specific microbe into my soil. Not a synthetic fertilizer, not a magic potion, a living organism. Since then, my plants have exploded with growth, tripling in size and thriving like never before. This isn't clickbait. And it's not just a gardening gimmick. It's soil biology at its finest. A quiet revolution happening underground. For too long, we've tried to force plants to grow with chemicals and quick fixes. But nature has always had its own way of building abundance. And the key lies in a symbiotic partnership between roots and microbes. Today on Hydrohaven, I'm going to walk you through what this microbe is, how it works, and exactly how you can introduce it into your garden to unlock explosive growth, no matter your soil type. Whether you're growing in raised beds, pots, or poor native clay, this one addition could change everything. Let's get right to the star of the show, Mycorazol fungi specifically Arbuscular mycorrhizal fungi, often abbreviated as AMF. These are not your average mushrooms or compost fungi. These are ancient organisms that form one of nature's most powerful partnerships. When mycorrhizal fungi come into contact with a plant root, they do something incredible. They fuse with it. They grow into the root cells and extend out into the soil, creating a vast underground web called a mycelial network. This network acts like a second root system for your plant, often reaching up to 100 times farther than the roots ever could on their own. That means access to more water, more phosphorus, more trace minerals, and more stability in times of stress. In exchange, the plant shares sugars and carbon compounds with the fungus. It's a trade deal billions of years in the making, and honestly, it's still one of the most effective growth strategies in all of biology. And the results? Profound. I'm not exaggerating when I say my plants tripled in size after introducing AMF, growth was faster, leaves were greener, fruit set came earlier, and water usage dropped because the plants were pulling moisture from a wider zone. You might be thinking, if this microbe is so powerful, why isn't it already in everyone's garden? Here's the problem. Modern gardening practices are terrible for mycorrhizae. Tilling the soil shreds their delicate hyphal networks. Synthetic fertilizers make plants lazy so they don't send out signals to recruit fungal partners. And sterile potting mixes, completely devoid of life. Even compost, while it's rich in bacteria and decomposers, often lacks the specific strains of mycorrhizae needed to create these symbiotic relationships. So most gardeners, without even realizing it, are growing plants that are missing a core underground ally. But once you reintroduce this missing partner, the transformation is honestly nothing short of astonishing. And you know, it doesn't take years to see results. My own garden began responding within just a few days. Let's break it down a bit further because honestly understanding the science helps you apply it better. When you apply mycorrhizal spores to your soil or seed roots, they actually lie dormant until they sense a nearby plant. Once they detect root exudates, those are chemical signals released by the plant, they germinate, make contact with the root, and start forming structures called arbuscules inside the root cells. These arbuscules are, well, kind of like nutrient exchange hubs. Outward from the root, the fungi send out hyphae, thin threads that grow rapidly through the soil. These hyphae access pockets of phosphorus, calcium, iron, and water that are far beyond the reach of normal roots. The fungi absorb these minerals and deliver them directly to the plant. In return, the plant gives the fungus sugars made through photosynthesis. This energy exchange fuels both partners, and the result is explosive, healthy growth. Even better, these fungi stabilize soil structure, improve aeration, and make plants more resilient to drought, transplant shock, and even some pathogens. 
Now here's the part you've been waiting for, how do you use this? So, you can't just dump a mycorrhizal product on top of the soil and expect miracles, you know? These microbes really need direct contact with roots to do their job, that means well timing and placement are everything. The best time to introduce mycorrhizae is actually during planting or transplanting. You simply dust the root ball with the powder, mix it into your planting hole or even coat seeds before sowing. Now if you're already mid-season you can apply a watered-in solution near the root zone but remember it needs to reach the roots to be effective. There are honestly a lot of quality products on the market, but always choose one that lists specific strains of Glomus species, like Glomus interradices or Glomus mossae. These are, hands down, the most effective for vegetables, flowers, and herbs. Also, don't mix it with high phosphorus fertilizers. These can suppress the plant's desire to form a fungal partnership. Stick with compost, compost tea, or balanced organic fertilizers until the fungi are well established. And remember, once you introduce them, they stay. As long as you avoid deep tilling and synthetic disruptions, the fungal networks will continue to grow and spread with each season. Since adding mycorrhizae, my entire approach to gardening has shifted. Plants that once needed daily watering now stay perky through the heat. Crops that used to struggle in poor corners of my garden now thrive. And the flavor, yes, the flavor, is richer. Fruits are sweeter, tomatoes are more robust. It's like every plant is finally operating at full capacity, tapping into a natural support system that had been missing all along. I've even seen seedlings, tiny starts with just two leaves, develop deeper, stronger roots within a week of fungal colonization. It's not magic, it's microbiology. And the beauty of it? This isn't a temporary fix, you're building a living system that improves year after year. The more you support the microbes, the more they support you. It's regenerative, not extractive, and, you know, it's the future of healthy gardening. If you've ever felt like your soil was missing something, it probably was. Plants were never meant to grow alone. They evolved with microbial allies, underground networks, and symbiotic partnerships that made true abundance possible. By reintroducing mycorrhizal fungi, you're not just boosting yields, you're restoring balance, you're reviving tired soil, you're cutting down on fertilizer needs, watering less, and watching your garden flourish with less effort. This one microbe has transformed my garden and honestly it can do the same for yours. If you found this guide helpful, subscribe to Hydro Haven for more regenerative, science-backed gardening insights. Share this video with a fellow grower who's ready to unlock the power of living soil. And let us know in the comments, have you tried adding microbes to your garden? Let's bring life back to the soil and let the plants show us what they're truly capable of. Subscribe to Hydrohaven, where soil comes alive, plants thrive, and every gardener grows smarter.